A lot of events happened this year that caused the coming of the Lord to be closer. Revolutions broke out around the world. Africa rose up against dictators. Jordan and, and, and in Yemen and Libya, dictators that have ruled with the iron hand. Rode with the sword, died by the same. Countries have fought against countries. Rumors of wars have taken place. In other words, Jesus has proven to be a legitimate prophet. That's right. Not one word fell to the ground. For he told us, nation shall rise against nations. Kingdoms against kingdoms. He taught us there shall be pestilence, wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes in diverse places. God shook Japan and then caused the waters to vomit. Everything that God does fulfill his word. Right. He said the sea shall give up her dead. So he got to drown somebody. Yeah. The sea got to come get somebody. Snatch her out of your mother arms. I was watching a report when a tsunami hit Japan. And there was a Japanese brother crying. He said when a tidal wave came. Him and his wife was out there in the water. He said another wave came. And after that wave came, he never saw his wife again. Waiting for the sound of God to come. One day, viewers, you may be out fishing somewhere. What you call resting. Thank God and you're going to hear a sound that have never been heard. In the universe. But God likened the sound. To the sound of a trumpet. Letting you know the intensity. Of the noise. Then God likened the sound. To the voice of a archangel. A archangel is a different angel. Michael is called the archangel. Archangel. Angel mean an angel that is in position of leader. That's right. That's right. Chief angel. That's, right. That's why Michael led the war That's right. against Satan. Yeah. He was an archangel, a leader, a warrior. When that voice rang through heavens. And all the elements of the universe. Every dog, every cat, every bird, every insect will recognize that's the voice of their God. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Every beast that God made, every fowl of the air, will recognize the voice of their creator. Viewers, what you going to be doing? According, according to history, the Maya Indians have the oldest calendar in the world. And they supposed to have predict many years ago that the world's going in 2012. There was a renowned European prophet, supposedly, named Nostradamus. In his calculations, he come along and agreed with the Maya, the world supposed to end 2012. Right. There was another genius mathematician <laughs> named Sir Isaac Newton. When he did his calculation and he said he had the Bible to aid him, he came up with the year 2060. Hmm. I agree with Jesus. 
That's right. Of that day and of that hour, knoweth no man. But it's frightening the fact that he's coming as a thief. How many thieves call your house before they break in? My Lord. None of them. No. The thief don't care if you're in the bathroom. He don't care if you're cooking greens. He don't care if you're watching a ball game. He don't care if you're in bed with your wife. That's right. When the thief come in, he catch you with your work undone. That's right. <laughs> That's what a thief does. That's right. He's going to come as a thief. The act of surprise. Right. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to be? Are you going to be out on a racetrack? Hmm. Are you going to be betting on a horse? Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to be marrying somebody else's husband. That's right. Somebody going to be divorcing. That's right. Two men is going to be marrying each other. Amen. The world is going to be functioning in a normal way. That's right. But all members of the human race, one day, you're going to recognize hmm. this object up in heaven. Oh, yes. Eyes that's greater than the light of the sun. That's right. And you're going to see that it's the God that you ignored, hmm. the God that you would not respect, mm -hmm. the God that existence you denied. That's right. The God that you lied on, mm. the God that you blasphemed against, Lord. the God that you cussed, Lord. the God that you left. That's right. That's true. You denied him. That's right. The God you pushed aside for money. Lord. The God you pushed aside for some woman. Amen. The God you push aside for your children. Mm. The God that you push aside for position. That's right. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. You're going to answer Everybody. to God. That's right. Every king, every president, every priest, every rabbi, every monk, all numbers. God have it fixed so the living and the dead. You would think if you die, you escaped. Hmm. My God, he's going to shake all the graves. Yes, he will. The Apostle John taught us that death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Wait a minute, John. Mm -hmm. How can hell go to the lake? Hmm. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. He says death, death. and hell. And hell. Were cast mm -hmm. into the lake of fire. How can hell go to the lake? That's right. Hmm. Death and hell. Death, your physical body dying, and sin. See, the sting of death sin. is sin. Mm -hmm. So when death is cast into the lake of fire, God will rid death of its power mm. and bring all sin to an end. That's right. When hell is cast into the lake of fire, all graves shall be abolished. Mm. He bring this universe to a full end. Won't be no more church service. Glory to God. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Won't be no more convention. No more. Glory to God. Won't be no more offering raising. That's right. Mm -mm, no more. That's right. No more being upset with the preacher. Hmm. Glory to God, won't have no more air time no more. That's right. It's going to be the day of the Lord. Day of the Lord. 
No more marriage, no giving in marriage. Everything that is in this earth and the universe pass away. Pass away. Glory right, to God and the Lord said the former things won't come to mind. That's right. I won't be traveling from country to country, state to state, preaching to nobody. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Everything will come to an end. That's right. When the Lord come, if there's any apostles on the earth, the apostleship cease. Oh, yes. Right then. Right then. When the Lord come, right then, tongues shall cease. That's right. Glory to God. Are you getting the old troublemaker? That's right. Why there's no need to speak in tongue? Because now the Holy Ghost is now with you in person. Person. That's right. Walking right among you. That's right. Appearing in the heavens. Mm. The example of the coming of the Lord mm. was the creation of Adam. Mm. Are you listening to the old man? Mm. The example of the coming of the Lord was the creation of Adam. Mm. After making Adam, then he present Eve to Adam. Right. What did the Lord say he going to do with his church? Mm -hmm. He going to present to himself. Self. He going to present to himself a glorious church just like it was God right. that presented Eve to Adam. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Viewer, this program is designed to put you back on the right track. Amen. Back on the right track. Mm -hmm. Not playing church. No way. Not in church just because it's New Year's Eve. Amen. You ain't doing God no favor. <laughs> no, no. No. My God, you got to serve God because you love him. That's right. Am I right tonight? That's right. That's right. When you love God, you serve Him. Oh, yes. Glory to God. No one got to beg you, come to church. No. No one got to beg you, work in the church. No, no. My God, when you love God, you'll work until you can't work no more. That's right. That's right. I use my hands to the work of God until they don't have no more strength. Wonderful. I may use my eyes for the work of God until I can't see nothing no more. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Power, hallelujah. That's right. Long hallelujah. as I got life. Amen. I want to give myself over. Yes. That's why you cannot take the work of God in any form mm -hmm. for granted. That's right. Because if you do, you can't even abuse it. No. No, no, you can't do that. No, no. <clears throat> Amen. Because you're working for the Lord. That's right. And believe me, everything you do in behalf of God, God is judging Just how you do it. Oh, yes. Don't think that judgment just go to the preacher. No, every man's work. All the work. If you're a secretary, he's judging how you, how are you a scribe. That's right. Hmm? That's right. All right, thank God if they're cleaning his house. Go ahead, brother. He's judging how you do it. Amen. For he said, let all things, all things, mm -hmm. all things be done decently and in order. If you read the scriptures. That's right. Oh, glory to God. That's right. He's judging how you do it. That's right. That's true. Because you're not allowed to add something in there that he didn't put in. Yeah. And you can't take nothing out that he put in. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. My God, if, if I get a secretary to put the message on paper mm -hmm. from one of the recordings. Mm -hmm. If she add one thing to that message that was not said. Yeah. She transgressed. That's right. If she takes something from out, out that message That's that right. was said, she transgressed. That's right. 
I want to give you a better perspective yes. for you that work in the church. Amen. This is about God. Yes, it is. It's good teaching. When you keep the books, good teaching. you can't cheat. No. You got to keep them in order. That's right. Why? You're going to answer to a greater bookkeeper. Oh, yes. He said, and the books were open. Oh, Amen. Amen. Glory to, hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. You're not working mm -mm. for a sinner. No, no. You're working for God, mm -hmm. so you got to treat God with the highest respect, because if you don't, he going to call you. Yes, he will. He's going to get your attention. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Why did you, why, why you're not working for me? Mm. Hmm? That's right. Haven't I been good to you? Go ahead, brother. Didn't I bring you out of the world? Go ahead. Didn't I deliver you from drugs? Go ahead. Didn't I deliver you hallelujah, from Amen. alcohol? Amen. Why did you stop working for me? That's right. That's right. Lord, That's I'm right. tired, but I'm long suffering towards you. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. God, I had no tickets on working on this, but hallelujah. Glory to God. Go ahead. For years, Go ahead, church people. Go ahead. You have looked at working in the church mm -hmm. as a very light thing. Mm -hmm. Just do it because you're bored. Right. You That's got the wrong idea. Wrong idea. That's right. The Holy Book says, right. be thou faithful unto death. Until death. Unto death. That's right. What do you mean? Stay there. Stay right there. My God, you got to be dedicated. The only way you don't work no more, you're dead. Amen. How long am I going, Usher? Until I die. Until I die. Yeah? That's right. Man, I can't keep up with the next one. But I love my job. Hallelujah. I love my job. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Are you listening to the Holy Ghost tonight? Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. Go ahead. You got the wrong idea. Go ahead. Who you working for? Amen. It's all about God. Amen. God says every man work every man. shall be tried by, by, by fire. fire. Every man. Every man. Uh, That's right. Why he said it all things. Go ahead, go ahead. Everything. Yeah, everything. He wanted decent. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And, and he wanted in order. In order. In order. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Amen. He looking at how you play the drums. Because it says, make a joyful noise. noise. Mm-hmm. Mm. He looking at how you play the organ. Mm -hmm. He looking at how you play the the string instruments. Go ahead, he man. looking at how you play the brass. Go ahead. That's why he put it all in the Bible. That's right. That's right. When ye glorify the Lord. Do you hear this? In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 43. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 43, and at verse 30. What is it? When ye glorify the Lord. When, hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. When you glorify the Lord. Exalt him. Exalt him. As much as ye can. Amen. Didn't I tell you? That's right. That's right. <clears throat> He's looking at how you conduct what you call praise service. Amen. He looking at the lyrics of the song. That's right. He's looking at what you say when you testify. Go ahead. He looking at the testimonies you gave 10 years ago and seeing all you sticking to it 10 years later. That's right. That's true. God haven't forgot. Haven't forgotten. That's right. Amen. Amen. Do you hear God talking? When ye glorify the Lord. I really had not <laughs> The slightest idea about this. My Lord. Mm. But God said, I got a controversy. Yeah. 
with the inhabitants of the land. The land. Mm -hmm. I advise you to hear God's controversy. That's right. Mm -hmm. When you glorify the Lord. When you glorify the God. Listen, how do I glorify God? Mm -hmm. I work for him. That's right. I'm striving to obey him. That's right. I'm not going to stop working because my friend don't want to work no more. No. No. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. No way. I'm not doing it. Why? If God gave me a skill no way, and if brother. God gave me a talent, if I was dedicated to the devil, I'm going to be more dedicated to God. That's right. That's right. How long am I going to do it? Until With all my strength. That's right. Much as you can. My God, if I'm on my sick bed, if I can sing a song on my sick bed, Go it's ahead. coming out. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. Who are you working for tonight? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Who are we working for? Go ahead. Amen. Glory to God. Do you hear the Holy Ghost talking? When you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can. Exalt him. Mm -hmm. Recognize him. Respect him. Amen. Praise him. That's right. Who are you working for? Amen. Hmm? Mm -hmm. How dedicated are you when it comes to God? That's right. Anything I do for God, I want to do it from the heart. That's it. Not to be seen. That's right. Not to be complimented. Mm -hmm. Not to get praise from nobody. Nobody. That's right. <clears throat> Don't care if I never get a plaque. That's Don't right. care if I never get a pat on the back. That's right. Don't care if I never get appreciation service. Go ahead. Hey, Go ahead. Go All ahead. I want to know is God satisfied. Amen. It's good teaching. Good teaching. Is God Almighty satisfied? That's right. That's right. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah to God. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? When you glorify the Lord. When you glorify God. Exalt him as much as you can. Exalt him. Mm -hmm. As much as what? As much as you can. It doesn't matter how feeble you get. <coughs> That's right. If you got life, keep pushing on it. Keep pushing. Go ahead. Hmm? Go ahead. Anything you do for the work of God, mm -hmm. anything. Put forth all your strength. Do you hear this? Still in Ecclesiastes 43 and verse 30. Put forth all your strength. No, give God some of it. All your strength. Amen. Any position you got. That's right. Doesn't matter what that position is. Amen. How how much of myself should be in it? Put forth all your strength. You see, your whole body got to be in the church. That's right. That's right. Fingers got to be in the church. Yeah. All the members of the body got to be in the church. That's right. That's true. Amen. The human family mistreat God. Mm hmm. In the book of Joshua, mm -hmm. viewers, I want you to listen to the old troublemaker. <laughs> there was a conversation mm -hmm. between the God of heaven mm -hmm. and the God of this world. That's right. There was a conversation between God Almighty mm -hmm. and the devil. The devil. Amen. God wanted the devil to report to him. That's right. About the conduct of the human race. Mm -hmm. Viewers, I want to take my time today mm -hmm. and let you see this conversation yeah. between God Almighty mm -hmm. and the devil. Mm -hmm. And I want you to see yourself. That's right. And I want you that are here to look at yourself. Amen. Listen and follow me closely. In Joshua chapter 22 and begin reading in verse 46. What is it? And the day arrived when the sons of God came and placed themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came. Whenever 
you have the work of God going on, mm -hmm. the devil is in it. That's right. He's always around. Oh, yes. I don't care how long that work been going on. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how much truth is preached. Mm -hmm. Whenever the people of God, wherever truth is, the devil is there. That's right. He's always there. Always. He loves to infiltrate mm -hmm. so he can separate. That's right. Hmm? That's right. He'll get you arguing at one another so nothing get done. Yes. Eh? Amen. You see, when you work for God, mm -hmm. there is no top dog. That's right. No, no, no. That's you right. ain't nothing but a slave. That's right. That's it. Just work. Just work. Nothing but a servant, Just and a servant. God is the master. That's it. And when God speak, you got to move. That's right. That's right. <laughs> there was a story coming up when we all was growing up. Pinocchio. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say what that got to do with the Bible. Just hear me. <laughs> and follow me. Amen. Pinocchio, wooden doll. <laughs> he had a farm, but he had no life. His father was his creator, yes, Mr. Geppetto. Yes. He shaped him. He yes. formed him. Yes, he fashioned him. Right. And he took pride in his work. That's right. So much pride in it until he wished he was a real boy. That's right. Mm hmm. <laughs> so a so called fairy or whatever came. <laughs> Gave him, life. Gave him life. But every time he lied, his nose grew. That's right. Well, I'm glad God don't have it like that. Like that. Amen. Thank God, God, man. The moment you turn around, you be knocking people over all the time. Huh? That's right. Are you some preacher's nose? You wouldn't know where it in. <laughs> That's right. But what I'm driving at, as long as he was a puppet, yeah. he moved when his father say move. That's right. But when he became a real boy, he had a mind of his own mm -hmm. and started exploring the world and got in trouble. That's the way we are. That's the way we are. <laughs> That's right. If you follow the master, yes. God Almighty, and when he pull the string, go the direction that he say. That's right. But when you wander from him, and now the world start looking so good to you. That's right. You get a mind of your own. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Then you become led <laughs> yeah. by an evil source. That's right. That's opposite from the source of God. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. Listen at this. And the day arrived when the sons of God came mm -hmm. and placed themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came with the sons of God before the Lord. Is the devil among you? Among you. With, with the sons of God. Is the devil in your auxiliary? Mm. <laughs> Is the devil in your prayer meeting? Amen. Is the devil in your committee meeting? Mm. You can hear him. That's true. Because he gonna say something against God or God's church. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Is the devil in your brotherhood meeting? Go ahead. You can hear him. You can hear him. He gonna say something mm -hmm. against God or against God's church or against God's word. That's right. That's true. He's gonna do his job. Yes, he will. Is the devil among the secretaries at their office? Yes, yes, Lord. Just listen. Oh, yeah. Somebody gonna say something mm. against God or against the church mm. or against his word. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. If you're working for God, that better be from your heart. From your heart. You can't take God and pick him up and throw him down, mm -hmm. then pick him back up when you get ready. God is not a toy. Amen. 
You owe God your life. Amen. Everything. Everything. About us. Hallelujah. Yeah. It belongs to God. That's right. That's right. God don't give us skill and talent to be arrogant. No. Self-centered. Oh, no. We use it for the sinner. Mm -hmm. But we won't use it for God. That's right. So if I can use my talent for God, but deliberately don't do it. So in my mind, I'm holding back and hindering a thing deliberately. Amen. Now you're trying to fight God. Trying to fight God. That's right. And the very skill that God gives, <laughs> his soul will take away. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. Listen at the book of Joshua. And the day arrived when the sons of God. Give chapter and verse again. Joshua chapter 22 and at verse 46. What is it? And the day arrived when the sons of God came and placed themselves before the Lord. Uh -huh. And Satan also came with the sons of God. And what? Before the Lord. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Devil! Whence comest thou? Where, mm -hmm. where you coming from? That's right. Because wherever you come from, I know you're up to no good. <laughs> Amen. Where you coming from? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Satan answered the Lord. I want everybody to listen closely at the dialogue right. between God and the devil. That's right. This is an interesting conversation. Oh, yes. A very interesting conversation, viewer. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Jasher, the same book that Samuel talked about. That's right. Give chapter and verse. Jasher chapter 22, we're now at verse 47. Listen. And the Lord said unto Satan. The Lord said to the devil. Whence comest thou? Where are you coming from? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. I'm walking around in the earth. You know what I'm doing. That's right. I'm walking around as a roaring lion. That's right. Seeking whom I may devour. That's right. Listen good. And the Lord said to Satan. The Lord said to the devil. What is thy word to me concerning all the children of the earth? Devil, <clears throat> report to me. That's right. I know you saw a lot when you was walking around. Amen. And you caused a lot of trouble while you was walking around. Right. I want you now to give me a report. Mm -hmm. What is thy word to me concerning all what the children your, of the earth? Listen, what is thy word to me concerning who? All the children of the earth. Now, I want you to listen closely. Mm -hmm. The Lord asked the devil, mm -hmm. they give him a report of all the children of the earth. That's right. But the devil narrowed his report down. <laughs> yes, he did. He didn't give him a report of all. All the children of the earth. The children of the earth. Mm -hmm. The devil gave him a report about some certain ones in the earth. That's right. Uh, he, he really wanted to get next to God. <laughs> That's right. Remember, God wanted him to give him a report about everybody all in the earth. earth. Mm -hmm. Now listen. And Satan answered the Lord and said, I have seen all the children of the earth who serve thee. Amen. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's right. That's this right. goes to show you how the devil is determined to throw God's word back up in his face. That's right. That's I true. want you to hear me good now. Mm -hmm. The devil, the God of this world, mm -hmm. he want to embarrass God. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. The devil want to embarrass God. Amen. He want to make God look bad. Yeah. God didn't just ask him about his own people. No. All the children. I want you to give me a report about everybody. That's right. My people and the people that you're tricking. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Devil gave him a impart, a partial report. Right. Wouldn't let him know what he was doing to folk. That's right. Uh -huh. But I, listen. And Satan answered the Lord. The devil answered the Lord. And said, I have seen all the children of the earth who serve thee. Hey, Lord, you want to know something? Mm -hmm. Here it is. Amen. I've seen all the people in the earth that serve you. Mm -hmm. and, and remember thee. They remember you. When they require anything from thee. When they want something. That's right. 
upon what? And when thou givest them the thing which and they then require after from thee, you give them what they want, they sit at their ease. They sit back and forsake thee. And they leave you. And they remember thee no more. And then they don't want to have nothing to do with you. That's right. Let's talk about that. That's right. No more. The same thing then. Amen. Is right now. Right now. That's right. When? When do the people want God? What when, do they do? When thou givest the thing which they require oh, from thee. Oh, that's the way people are now. They are praying, begging God for this, <coughs> begging God for that, begging God for the other. Some people was faithful when they didn't have a car. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. hmm. Some was faithful when they had keys to the church. <laughs> Amen. Some was faithful when they had a title. Yeah. That's true. We take title, take keys. That's true. Take position. Mm -hmm. Not faithful no more. Amen. He's the same God. Same God. He's the same yesterday and today and forevermore. That's right. Look at how we treat him. That's right. And when thou givest them the thing which they require. Look at them. how we treat him. Amen. You got the answer to God for your treatment of him. Mm. That's right. You that are watching. That's right. You got the answer to God for your treatment of him. Mm -hmm. Look at America. Amen. Every time God say no, America say yes. Right. America's opposite. <clears throat> That's right. God say he made the woman for the man. America say, oh, no, he didn't. He made a man for a man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every time God say something, society go opposite. Oh, I, amen. Amen. God says, cover up the shame of thy nakedness. <laughs> Society say, oh no, ain't nothing wrong with showing your cleavage. That's right. Let me put a split from my ankle up to my hip. Oh, yes. Hmm? Amen. Opposite. Opposite. Hmm. That's the nature. Mm -hmm. Sign says 70. Right. The nature is do 90. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's man's nature. That's right. That's right. I don't want nothing to come in my life that's going to pull me out of church. Amen. No house, no car, no job, no money, no nothing. That's right. Look at what you got yeah. and evaluate how you was before you got it. Amen. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Look at what you got. Yeah. Evaluate how you were. Right. Glory to take God before you got it. That's right. Because the book says, Woe unto them mm, that are eased in Zion. E that's right. What do you mean, woe? God bless you. Know sorry, I'm sorry, sorry for you. Amen. Amen. Hmm? That's right. Amen. When you was working in the church, look at how faithful you were. When you had a title, look how faithful you were. Yeah. Are you listening? That's right. See that dedication still there. That's right. Or oh, see that you got to think about now working <laughs> in the church. You see, that's the way we do God. Yeah. I'm about to ask you, you going to work, you going to work in the church? I think about it. Let that's your supervisor true. tell you, are you going to do this? Yes. That's true. Yes, I do it. And then, in fact, you are volunteer to do more and you're not even getting paid for it. That's true. We don't ask God, how can I help you? How can I help? That's right. But we ask flesh and blood, what can I do for you? Amen. But the moment we want something. When thou givest them the thing which they require from and thee. And then God give it to us. They sit at their ease. You sit back. You got it now. Got it. You got the job you want, you got the man you want, you got the man you've been begging God for, you got the wife you've been begging God for, yeah. you got the job, you got the money, yes. and now you got it. What condition are you in? They sit at their ease. Now you got your car. Mm -hmm. Now when you got it, now what? Sit at their ease and forsake You got your apartment, you got your house now mm -hmm. that you've been wanting, now what? They sit at their ease. Sit at their ease. That's true. That's true. Hmm. After you got what you want, now you're backsliding. Amen. Oh, yeah. God is no longer important. That's right. 
You got it mixed up. Mm -hmm. Let me give you good knowledge. Anytime you work in the church mm -hmm. for God, God, you don't have room for the emotion of the flesh. That's right. Let me tell you again. That's right. When you work for God, Amen. There is no room Amen. for the emotion of the flesh. No, no. No. What do you mean, Pastor Jennings? Somebody may do something you disagree with or don't like. Mm -hmm. But because I may not like what you've done, your actions ain't gonna make me stop working. That's right. And you get what I'm telling you? That's right. How is it that someone can make you stop working in the church? Yeah. How did they get that much power over you, over you, but yet you say you're working for God? Amen. If I'm working for God, Amen. nobody. Go ahead. Nobody. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Nobody. Go ahead. Nobody. Amen. I traveled to Africa to preach the word of God. I'm not traveling because of my wife. I'm yeah. not traveling to Africa and other parts of the world, no India, to satisfy my wife. No. Because she don't like me going all the time. She's supposed to. Right. But God love it. That's right. That's right. He don't care if I'm hurting. He, he said, Jennings, if you're hurting, you call me. That's Jennings, right. if you're tired, you call me. That's right. Jennings, if you're weak, you call me. Go ahead. Jennings, if you're hurting, you call me. That's right. What is God doing? Go ahead. Stripping me of every excuse. Go ahead. That's something. Lord, I'm about to die, but I'm with you. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Lord, I'm hungry. I never saw the rockets forsaken. Go ahead. No seed, big bread. Amen. Mm. Go ahead. How can a man? A woman make you stop working in church and you say you're working for God? Amen. You gave that woman and that man more power over you than God. That's right. Talk to me. Go ahead, Go ahead man. And now you're challenging God by your actions. That's right. God said for a long season, I've held my peace. Now I'm ready to cry like a woman in travail. Yes. That's what the Holy Ghost brought tonight. Go ahead. And it's good too, brother. Oh, yes. Go ahead, brother. Who are you working for? Who are you working for? Go ahead. Listen at the conversation between Satan mm -hmm. and God. And the Lord said to Satan, what is thy word to what me? What is thy word to me? Concerning all the children of the earth. And Satan answered the Lord. I don't care how angry I get. Hmm. My anger should not affect my relationship with God. That's right. Regardless of how angry I get. That's true. I'm handling the work of God. That's right. That's truth. I got to stay there yeah. and work mm -hmm. out Faith. my salvation. That's right. With fear. Fear and trembling. And this is why some of you find it so easy not to work. You've been doing it wrong. Right. He said, work with fear. Fear and trembling. You work with self. Right. You got to work with, with fear. With fear. Yourself got to get out of it. That's right. If I got a beef with James because he preached something, they don't need for me to stay out of church. Amen. If I got a beef with Taj and I think he's picking on me every time he get up, they don't need for me to stay out of church. That's right. That's right. If Raj preached something, it's in that book, yeah. and all of a sudden I'm upset. Mm -mm, I don't have room for personal emotion when I come to God. That's right. That's right. That's right. God's anger is worse than ours. Oh, yes. God's anger mm -hmm. is stronger than ours. That's right. 
God's anger is more bitter than ours. We are nothing. We are absolutely nothing but a speck of dust. That's all. Surviving off God's mercy. That's it. So tell me, how did a man or a woman or a job or a car yeah. or a motorcycle or a scooter or a wig yes. made you stop church? That's right. That's right. Am I right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. How is it? Go ahead, man. That you treat your job better mm. than you treat God. Amen. How is it so easy to do it? Amen. You don't fear him. That's you right. don't respect him. That's and right. because of that, you don't deserve him. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. This is God's controversy. controversy. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? In the book of Philippians chapter 2 and at verse 12. Philippians 2, 12 says. Work out your own salvation. He says work. Work out your own salvation. With fear and trembling. Work. Work. Work out. When they offered that sacrifice mm -hmm. in the old time, mm -hmm. they was doing some work. Oh, yes. And brother, that smoke when it went up. If it stinked in God's nostrils, mm -hmm. it was some trouble coming from trouble heaven. Trouble coming. That's right. The service you give God That's right. must be decent and in order. And in the order, in meaning order. in the command of God's law. That's right. That's right. We got it wrong. Oh, we working for First Church. We work for God. For God. That's I'm right. I'm working for Pastor Jen, and no, you're not. No, no. You work for God. Amen. And when you work for God, there's a detachment of your personal prerogatives. That's true. Make it flame, Make it flame. It's right. a separation. Yes. Go ahead, man. That way, when I do something for God, I got to do it wherein He approves it all the time. All the time. That's right. It got to be done where God say amen. That's right. All the time. All the time. Go ahead, man. Hmm? Go ahead. The way the security team function. Mm. They have to be done where God is satisfied all the time. All the time. Everything that's said in the meeting behind closed doors. Yes, by that word that justified or by that word that shall be condemned. That's right. Every brotherhood session. Amen. Every session that take place, yeah. if it's 20 times a week, each session got to be so. God is satisfied. Go ahead. All the time. That's right. Mm. Every pen in a secretary's hand. Go ahead, man. It had to be so that God is satisfied. All the time. Amen. Is that Bible? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Jeremiah had a secretary. That's right. His name was Bayrich. Bayrich. He was called a scribe, a scribe back then. That's right. And the word of the Lord came to the prophet Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. and Jeremiah went to Berich. That's right. And Berich took a pen mm -hmm. and wrote it. When it was read to the kings and the elders, fear fell upon fear some. Mm -hmm. The king was arrogant. That's right. Self-righteous. Mm -hmm. Tore it up. Tore it up. Threw it away. Yeah. But here come the word of the Lord back to Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. And he wrote what the king tore up and wrote what oh. the king didn't have. That's right. Hmm? That's right. God's word abide forever. forever. That's right. Viewers, you can take your Bible, the book of scriptures, and literally tear it up. Tear it up. Burn it, mm -hmm. if you please. Go ahead. Go ahead. But you haven't got rid of the word of God. No way. Settle forever in heaven. Word says forever. Forever. Oh Lord, mm. thine word. Not my word, thine. not your word. Thine, thine word. Thy word. It's forever. Settled in heaven. Settled in heaven. That's right. 
I want to take my time and say, okay, that's what the Holy Ghost brought tonight. Amen. Hallelujah, brother. Huh. I'm telling you, this is good. Oh, yes. This call for self-inventory because God not happy about the way he's being treated. Go ahead. You treat dogs better than you treat God. Go ahead. You treat flesh and blood better than you treat God. That's right. You give men more attention than you give God. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> you can walk off God. Mm -hmm. But you won't walk off a job. No. Go ahead. You can pass up God, Go but you can cling to a dollar. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Who are you working for? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We working for a reward. That's right. Glory to God that will last throughout eternity. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? And the Lord said to Satan. The Lord said to the devil. What is thy word to me concerning all the children of the earth? What is thine word to me concerning the people of the earth? And Satan answered the Lord and said, I have seen all the children of the earth who serve thee. And what? And remember thee when they require anything from thee. And when thou givest them the thing which and they require when, from when thee. And when you give them what they want, Lord. They sit at their ease. They sit at ease. And forsake thee. And leave you. And they remember thee no more. Amen. Amen. You better look at yourself tonight. Oh, yes. You that are watching. You better That's look right. at yourself. That's right. What did God do for you? Mm -hmm. But yet now you won't do for him. Amen. What happened? Mm -hmm. When thou givest them the thing which they require from thee. When you give them the thing that they want. They sit at their ease. What happened to you, Vera? Amen. What happened to your church goer? Oh, she made me backslide. Ain't nobody can make you backslide. No. Backsliding is a personal choice. That's right. You leave God because right. you choose to. You, choose to. <laughs> you come to God because you want to. That's right. You will stay with God because you want to. That's right. The prophet said, choose you this day. Mm -hmm. Whom you going to serve? Mm -hmm. If God be God, what am I going to do? I'm going to serve him. That's right. If Bill be God, serve him. Mm -hmm. One Amen. thing about God, he ain't forcing you. No. Um, See, he ain't forcing you to do it. No. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So you got to love him if you love him not like him that's right when you truly love something you ain't walking away from it oh no mm -mm. when you love god ain't no one gonna pull you away from him no no i'd rather get weak but you ain't gonna pull me away from him that's right while i'm getting weak i'm gonna hold on to him that can give me strength that's right are you listening to the old man? And when thou givest them the thing which they require from Feel thee. And you that are here tonight. Mm -hmm. What is it you have asked God for? Mm -hmm. And he gave it to you. And now as a result of that. Mm -hmm. You do not render to him the service that you used to give him. Amen. How did that blessing become a cuss. cuss. That's right. How? How did that blessing mm -hmm. become a curse? a curse? That's true. See, when you truly mean to get in the kingdom of God, whatever you ask God for, mm -hmm. you prioritize That's it. in your request. That's right. Wherein you will tell God, regardless of what I ask you for, if it will cause me to be lost, don't give it to me. That's right. <clears throat> don't give it to me. That's right. Some women was begging God, Lord, give me a husband. Give me a husband, Lord. Lord, give me a husband. Oh, Lord, give me a husband. When they wasn't married, they was faithful, coming to church, didn't miss a night, working on several auxiliaries, fasting and praying. And then after they got that husband that they thought was a blessing, they married a curse. Curse. And because of such, now they so emotionally and mentally messed up, That's now true. the wife ain't going to church. That's right. That's right. He's still a sinner, and now she become one. Amen. 
That's true. He on his knees begging God for a woman. I want to be built a particular way, Lord. And you know, yeah, that Lord did, Lord that. And here she come, mincing as she go, making right. a tinkling with her feet. That's right. That's right. Remember this. Now you got that woman, mm -hmm. and she got you so bad, you can't even say amen to the truth. That's true. That's true. Can't even look at the Bible. Amen. Amen. Can't even witness to it. No more. No more. Before you got married, come to church faithful. Yeah. Open the church doors three hours early. My Lord. Right there. My Lord. The bedroom should not be more important than church. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. A movie should not be more important than church. That's right. That you can't miss it. That's right. That's right. The ball game should not have more value than church. You can't miss the game. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. That's true. That's right. Year in and year out, same thing. What do God mean to you? What is he to you? Is he some little midget on a cross hanging in your living room? Is he some little elf on a cross hanging around your neck? Amen. That trash is not God. Right. My people have changed. The but, earth mm -hmm. that you walk on belong to him. That's right. The breath you breathe belong to him. Yeah. That little roof over your head, it belong to him. That's right. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. What do you own? Go ahead. He said, naked, I brought you here. Right. Naked, I'm going to take you out. That's right. The clothes on your back, it don't belong to you. Amen. Your eyes, ahead, not yours. Go ahead. Your ears, not yours. Right. Your body is not yours. Right. Your soul, not yours. That's right. He said, all souls are mine. That's right. You don't even own yourself. Yes. So who do you think you are? Amen. You don't even own yourself. Go ahead. Who do you think you are? Think you are. Yeah. What, what gave you the right to be so arrogant? Yes. What gave you the right to be so self-centered with your talent? That's right. That's right. What little frivolous degrees we have behind our name, we become endowed with logic trying to analyze God yes you little petty mind Amen. up Amen. against a mind that's flawless that's right. and is eternally perfect yes mm. go ahead man you don't belong to nobody but God but God that's right remember that that's right remember from whence thine came we come from dust. Yeah. Everybody in here, those who will die, mm -hmm. your date has been predestinated yes. by the God of heaven. That's right. When you gonna die? Yes. How you gonna die? Yes. Where you gonna die? Yeah. And there's nothing you can do about it. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Go ahead. The holy book says what in the, book, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 and at verse 11. But my people have changed their glory for that which doeth not profit. The Lord have a complaint. Oh, yes. He says his people have changed their glory. Materialism is the distraction for today. That's right. And the devil know it's a distraction. Mm -hmm. So the devil send men 
to preach materialism is a blessing from God. Right. Right. And they make this earth heaven. That's right. They got you thinking the big house, the car, mm -hmm. the big bank account. Mm -hmm. They love that title, yeah. being called professor or doctor or dean. That's right. Dr. Lucifer. <laughs> Professor Satan. That's right. That's right. As long as they got that title, make them feel good. Mm -hmm. The purpose of the word is to connect you with God. Yeah. And when it connects you with God, then you don't want to be disconnected from him because of nobody. That's Listen. Right. Go back to the book of Joshua. Come on, son. Back in Joshua chapter 22 and verse 48. And the Lord said to Satan, what is thy word to me? Keep me posted with the time. What is thy word to me concerning all the children of the earth? Yes. And Satan answered the Lord and said, I have seen all the children of the earth who serve thee. I have seen all the children of the earth that serve you. And remember thee when they require anything from thee. They got me on a Pacific time schedule here. What time is it, brothers? What's that? All right, 10 after? All right, we're, they're asking us to be out of here by 11.30, so uh, we won't be able to finish this. Mm -hmm. But I tell you one thing, what I have brought so far is enough to fill your gut. That's right. Oh, yes, it is. That's right. I better not even get angry at the word. That's true. You're not angry with Pastor Jennings. I'm not your God. That's right. I got to make sure I'm on good terms with God. It don't need me to be begging him for this, praying for that, and then I'm upset with him. Right. That's oh, true. Oh, no. That's true. Jesus said, what you do to my least ones, you do unto me. Unto me. What did Joshua say? And the Lord said to Satan, what is thy word to me concerning all the children of the earth? What is thy word to me concerning all the children of the earth? And Satan answered the Lord and said, I have seen all I, the children of the earth. I was going to open the floor for questions, but I'm not going to get questions tonight, brother, for hopefully I'll try to get them tomorrow, tomorrow if, if, if time permit, all right? All right, brother, come on, because we're on a very strict time. Come on. I have seen all the children of the earth who serve thee. Yes. And remember thee when they require anything from thee. Yes. And when thou givest them the thing which they require from thee, they sit at their ease and forsake thee, and they remember thee no more. I got to quit. I wish I didn't have to quit, but I got to quit. We have to be out the building by 1130, but this is good. God knows. Be careful how you treat God. Be careful what you think in your mind towards God. Be careful what you say within yourself towards the word of God. Because he heard you. He hear you. And he's letting somebody else hear you. As well as letting someone else see you. Let us all stand. Come back tomorrow. Prayer begin at 11.30. At the year of 2012, God be our helper. Let us pray. Eternal, everlasting, now God. We thank you for your eternal, perfect word. Your word that have no error. It has no flaw. It's infallible in every manner. Everlasting God, we ask you to be merciful upon the human family. That your judgment nor your wrath come upon us at no time. Help us to separate ourselves. Lord God, and strive to obey your divine word. Help us to work for you from the heart with our mind, soul, body, and spirit. We thank you for your divine word. We thank you for your warning. We thank you for your, you. You thank you for your precepts. Everlasting God, look down upon us, not with judgment, but with your mercy. Protect us as we go back to our separate places and bring us back again. Lord God, on tomorrow, we thank you for about to bring us into a new year. By your mercy, we thank you in advance for your goodness to us all. We ask you to protect us all as we go back to our separate places that when we come again, 
we may digest your word and not speak against your law. Know your precepts. Keep us and preserve us in thine will. This blessing we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let everyone say, Amen. Come back tomorrow at 11.30 in the morning. We have to exit this building because we have to be out, excuse me, have to be out by 11.30. It's the mandatory. Uh, those of you that want to be baptized, we'll be baptizing tomorrow uh, after the first session.